Hey, welcome back everybody. I wanted to talk today about 3D ambigrams, how cool they are, how customizable they are for uh, make great Christmas gifts, uh, especially for like anniversaries, because you can have one uh, spouse's name on one side, one spouse's name on the other side. Uh, really cool, really interesting. Uh, people love them. So you can go uh, on the Thingiverse, uh, link in the description for Lyle, uh, or Lyle, Lil3, um, I assume it's Lyle. Uh, he he did went to all the trouble of making this generator, um, and it, and it appears to do uh, an excellent job. Um, I I'm actually half tempted to download it and try it myself. Uh, but I, what I would like to do is do a, a tutorial on how to make your own uh, from scratch using just a a 3D program. So this is one of the first ones I did uh, for a friend of mine who came to visit. He hadn't seen him in three years and. Uh, him and his wife stopped by on their uh, anniversary trip, and I kind of felt bad that they were stopping by and on their anniversary. So I made that for him, uh, which could have easily been made using Lyle's generator or any other of those types of generators. But what it doesn't let you do is things like this, where you then move and do interesting shapes, work with perspective. It, it, it'll get you 90% of the way there for almost everything, right? Ah. Uh. That's some terrible sound. We're gonna stop that one right there. Anyway, that says Precision Machinist. Uh, but this is this is up on Instagram if you want to go take a look at it. Link in the description. All right, so let's get to the tutorial portion. This is uh, Fusion 360. It is not my normal program that I use, but uh, you know we're gonna use it just because it's free, uh, for, so that anybody can get it. And really, these principles will apply to most uh, 3D modeling programs. We're gonna create a sketch. Choose any plane to start on. Go over here to create. Go down to text and just click anywhere for now. Go over here, uh, type in T for Tahoma. Um, and then we want to change the height to 1.1 inches. I find that works fairly well with my uh, Prusa. Hey, future me here. Apparently, 1.1 inches in Fusion is not the same as 1.1 inches in real life. So, Instead of making the letter height 1.1, put in 1.4, and it should then be similar to the ones I've done in the past. The only reason I say that is the thickness, like how thick uh, this particular, the letters are, uh, will determine how often you're breaking these things. And then we t we're going to type in O-H. Come on, finish it. I-O. All right. A uh, little joke for anybody in the Midwestern area. Like, even on airplanes, when you're flying around, everybody's like, OH, IO, whenever you land in uh, land in Columbus. Anyway, so Ohio. Now, we're going to do something cool here. We're going to insert um, a image. Okay, here we go. So we insert an image. I've uh, selected, click the plane that you want it on. Uh, grab the move button and then we're going to scale it up a bit move it into position uh, maybe something like that alright so what are we considering here we're considering that this yet red line here will be the base that everything sits on and we want to tie it into the base with more than just this little bit here because um, if we were to just use that little bit, it would break off super easy. So I'm going to put it right about there. And I want it to be about at the same height as that O. Uh, so that little bit's going to get chopped off if we're not careful. Um, so maybe we'll shrink it down just a hair more so that it's about, yeah, it's pretty close. Just close enough, right? Uh, hit OK. We'll go over here to line. And then you're going to spend about the next uh, two minutes tracing the outline of this shape. So we got Pennsylvania, uh, and then I imagine this is the Ohio River moving around, and we're just going to go around the outside of it. It won't take too long. I'll speed it up here in post-production. Curse you! Uh, Lake Erie, why are you such a pain in the butt? You and the Ohio River, can't you be straight like Indiana? All right, okay, there we go. We got the outline, we got our letters. Hit finish sketch. Um, we're now going to extrude, 
and we want to do both. Uh, so to do that, you would uh, see how it says two selected. You will click on one and then hold down the control button and left mouse button click. We're going to do symmetric and we're just going to do eight inches. Uh, that's just what I do is a matter of course. And we now have this nice eight inch long thing here. Um, so create a sketch. We're going to choose the plane that is uh, 90 degrees out from that. And once again, go over here to text. And we're going to click somewhere, doesn't matter where. And drop down, press T for Tahoma. And 1.1 inches. And S, no, oh, all caps, all caps is important. State, Ohio State. That's my uh, alma mater. Whatever that is, it, it, you know, I always found it kind of disconcerting how often they're like, "Hey, you went to this university. You spent way too much of your money here. Don't you feel like you should maybe give back more of your money?" And to which I replied, uh, "No. Uh, uh, no. Why? Why would I? Why would I do something so foolish as to give you continue to give you more money?" It's like, well, don't you want other people to get robbed and have feet? I'm sorry. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I enjoyed my time there. It's fine. Nothing wrong here. Move along. Okay. Finish sketch. Go up here. Click on this view box. Scroll out using the middle mouse button. Now, uh, here's the magic part, right? Extrude. Click on if you can get to it. There you go. Click on state. And you're going to go down here to two-sided symmetric. There we go. And the thing that makes the magic happen is intersect command. That's it. Uh, no, we didn't select it, did we? Come on, you. There we go. Eight inches. Aha! This is the, where the, the magic happens. Go ahead and hit OK. It'll struggle for a moment. And there you go. There's state. And there's Ohio. And you, as you can tell, because of our state shape, all of those wiggly lines are there. <laughs> um, and the O got chopped off just because of the text size that's being used. All right. So now we need to get rid of some of these extra letters. Uh, to do that, we're going to create a sketch here. And we're going to create one giant rectangle around everything, like so. Uh, and then we need to put a rectangle around anything that we wish to keep. Um, and that will isolate these and keep them from being deleted. Uh, unfortunately, sometimes the letters overlap, and it's just a giant pain in the butt. If I'm honest. All right, but a lot of the times you'll be able to uh, see clear lines of where one is and where the other one is. All right. So you can see here, that line didn't come far enough over, so we'll just uh, click and drag it down a bit. Click, drag it up, and over here, T should be fine. We're going to get a bit of that A. All right, everything else looks good. So we hit finish sketch up here, and then extrude. And we click any area outside of those blocks and go over here, symmetric, choose a distance, 8 inches is fine, and cut and hit OK. And now we've gotten rid of almost all the things that we want to get rid of. You notice that some things carried over uh, here, 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 and here, just to name quite a few. <laughs> All right, so we need to get rid of those. Now, unfortunately, every time I try, I do that, and I right-click, and I hit delete, yes, I want to delete it, it does this, and I start getting irately uh, upset um, because I think it's trying to delete the entire operation as opposed to just um, that specific, particular thing. So one thing I wonder is, can I do a move copy? Like, can I... Select that and just move this out of the way. Ah, yes, this will work. All right, 
So once again, move. Let's select what we want to move. Can we select more than one thing? Nope, just one thing at a time, it looks like. So yeah, we'll just move that over here next to that one. And yeah, uh, hit OK, move. That one, yep, and then we're just gonna you'll come over here too. And hit OK and rather lather, rinse, repeat. And the reason we're doing this is because we need to do another extrude command uh, that will take care of all this nonsense lettering leftovers. Uh, all right, so we got one more over here. That one, move. Is it gonna try? Oh God, it's just moving that one face. All right, let's try it. All right, move. There you go. Uh, probably not a good idea to be doing this while in ISO view. There we go. So we want them all to be isolated uh, in the top view in one little area and then we'll quick do uh, a new sketch. Choose this plane and another rectangle. Just those items that we want to get inside there and we will get our good housekeeping award. Symmetric. Cut. Objects to cut. Did I not select it? I thought I selected it. There we go. Eight inches. Oh, not 98. Eight. It's fine. All right. Symmetric. Okay. All right. Now we're left with just the things we love. And these are the things we love. Don't they? Don't they just look so handsome? Well, let's see how good this is at uh, going back in time. Let's, uh, this is annoying me. Suppress. That's gone. So let's go back to our very first sketch, edit it, edit it, edit it, edit it, boom, boom, boom. So we know the O's getting cut off. So let's see if we can bring this down just a hair. Can I can I drag you? I'd like to drag you. How do I how do I drag you? Okay. Oh, there we go. All right. Oh, geez. Now it's all moving around, and it this isn't gonna work. Just just Control Z to go back to where you were. Um, there's got to be a move command. Where's modify, maybe? Move. There we go. Click on that. Move type. Free move. Translate. Translate. Uh, which way? We want to go in the Y direction down. Uh, point. How about 10 thou? Oh, that went the wrong way. Now it's got to be negative. Negative. All right, let's try that. Let's see if that looks better. Finish sketch. And now it has a complete conniption. Ah, it didn't update it at all. Is there a command in here to update? God, this isn't a very good tutorial because it's kind of showing you I'm inept at Inventor or uh, sorry at Fusion. <laughs> hmm. You know what? We're just gonna live with it. No, we're not gonna live with it. Excellence, par excellence. All right, let's change state to be higher. <laughs> We're going to make this a bit bigger now, 1.2 inches. Finish sketch. And it breaks out, but that's okay. Do our O's look better? Indeed, our O's look better. And we got warnings because the move commands no longer work the way we want it to. Yeah. Stay, I bet each look good. They do look good. So. Let's go back through and get rid of some of this extra stuff again. Select, sketch. Now, I promise you, in Inventor, this takes no time at all. And this is just some kind of annoying thing because it, it appears to not like it when you uh, change your mind midstream. And it, it, I guess it's not its fault, to be, if I'm honest. So the E's there. Get that over. All right. Finish sketch. Extrude. Select. 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 And eight inches. Two-sided cut. Go. All right. 
Now let's check and make sure everything's good. Ohio, yay. State, yay. Wait, does that E look too little? That E looks too little, doesn't it? It does. I don't like it. Let's go back. Edit this sketch, because I think we're, yep, we cut it off here. See? There we go. Finish. Yes, yes. Warning, warning, warning. I'm, I'm not doing things correctly, and you don't like me. I got it. All right, there we go. Ohio. And state. Looks good. I think I can live with that. All right, I think that's probably close enough um, to what we want to do. So now let's uh, create the base. Click on the bottom plane again. I usually just do um, a slot, uh, center to center. And I choose roughly the center of that, or a little over the past the center, and then out like that. Yeah, perfect. Okay, finish the sketch. We go down to extrude, and we're going to do um, two sided. So the first one, we're, we're going to go up um, 0 0.01, so 10 thou of an inch. Ah, well. <sighs> Someday, some sweet day. We'll be together. Yes, we will. No, what am I doing? Control Z. All right. Extrude. Uh, we're going to do two sided. So side one is 10 thou up. And side two is going to be 0.125 or an eighth of an inch down. And we want that to be a join. And we hit OK. And there you go. Simple. <coughs> yeah, simple. Yeah. Yeah, about that. But anyway, that is how you would do that. So uh, a lot of flexibility, a lot of power here. Um, you can imagine this is uh, someone's name. You could do uh, something that they really enjoy here. Um, we had a foreign exchange student come over, and she told me what her favorite Pokemon were. Um, and we put in a couple Pokemon, traced them out, and so she had Pokemon uh, for parts of her her name. Um, but anyway, right. so from here, uh, let's see, save it, Josh's OK tutorial, because it was just OK. There was a lot of flailing around there, but uh, I, I, I'm keeping it in because I assume that me flailing around makes you feel better when you're flailing around, and if you're more pro than that, you know, sorry, but uh, it is what it is for the rest of us. It's got to be a way to export this, right? And tools. Here we go. Make 3D print. Yes. Selection. Select that. Preview mesh. I do want to preview the mesh because sometimes they have like really poor mesh, and you have to like it's it's not going to be good enough for the curves. Oh boy, it failed to do it. Oh boy. Is it this move command? Is that it? Body references off try it in its feature two through seven points. You jerk. Delete. Delete. Let's see if that does it. Alright, there's a warning here. Let's look at that. Edit feature. I mean it seems fine. Okay. Now let's try it. Edit, preview mesh, selection, and it'll auto disk translation failed service. Still failed to export data. Auto disk translation failed. Piece of junk. All right, mesh mixer. Let's get rid of that. Just hit OK. Let's see if mesh mixer can do it. What? Why are you? Oh. Why? Why you? Oh, you're gonna get pasted. Why? Why did you fail to export my body? Love my body. So, note to self. Um, oh, wow, they brought in sheet metal tooling? That's pretty darn cool. I want 3D print it. I want, my, I want it to be high. Uh, I don't care enough about the rest of that to care. 
custom. Uh, why did, why can't you just do an STL fire file like the rest of us? I bet it's all those move commands. I bet it's all the move commands. Oh, now it works? What the? <sighs> all right, so I'm not really selling this, am I? <laughs> all right, so it's here. Let's take a quick look at it and uh, make sure it's reasonable. All right. That doesn't help us at all. All right, all right, all right, all right. Tom, all right. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say, sure, it's fine. Um, export and STL. And t -t 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 -t. we'll just call this one, yeah, Josh's OK Tutorial. Save it. Go, go, gadget. OK. Uh, so then you'll bring it into your slicer, whatever it might be. I have Prusa. It's a Prusa slicer. Slicing and um, um, dicing. Uh, does anybody remember where that was? Shiza. I always forget. Export. Where did I put that? Hustle. Okay, Intel. That's going to be better. Um, enter. STL export from the vendor. Josh is OK tutorial. So navigate and we're gonna find our landing, choose that face, like so. Alright, Ohio and state. Looking pretty good. Size is okay. Now I use um, the MMU2S. Uh, so I can do a soluble interface, and I will uh, do a soluble interface for this. But I have done these in the past. That first one that I showed you, the green one, uh, back at Instagram at the beginning of this, that was done without soluble interfaces and just uh, regular supports. You just have to be super careful and take your time. Um, but yeah, soluble supports are just uh, are just great for this, right? So... Um, so I'm using BVOH for this and PLA. Slice now. There it is. It's going to take 4 hours 40 minutes to get this done. And we can look here. So you have. I'd like to go down to the bottom. And uh, part of the reason that I extrude up 10 thou is I have occasionally had letters that don't actually um, touch. <laughs> They, uh, they're hanging in midair, and Prusa, the slicer, is just like, okay, yeah, they're in midair. I'll just make random things in midair. That's fine. Everybody does random things in midair. All right, that looks fairly easy. That is going to be a bear to get off right there on that edge, I'll tell you what, right? So I'm just doing two shells. Um, I mean, it's, it's pretty much the stock uh, settings for the most part. Five, four, two perimeters. Uh, yeah, nothing terribly complex. Uh, 0.2 soluble interface, which it's just uh, that interface, except I changed the angle by at which it needs uh, support to... Uh, where is that at? That's under advanced, I think. No. Uh, support material, there we go. Overhang threshold, 45. 90 is vertical. Um, this can do 60, is that right? 90 equals vertical, 80 would be slightly vertical, 45, yeah, I mean, it could probably do 60 before it's too too much, but uh, we'll just say 40, there we go, enter, save, back here, slice again, but uh, like in between the A here, um, it doesn't it doesn't really need support underneath there, uh, other than when it bridges, so I'm not sure why it's putting it in there really. In fact, does that look like it's got a gap there? Yeah, it's almost looking. See, look, it's putting support all like to tie. Uh, anyway, whatever, whatever. I'm okay. I'm gonna be okay. Yeah, so export it, and we'll start printing this. 
All right, so there it is. We have finished printing it and removed all of uh, the filament. And you can see it says State and Ohio. And it's got a pretty accurate looking Ohio outline there. Now we just got to put a gearbox and a small DC motor with a button cell to just kind of rotate this thing constantly. Maybe like uh, 3 RPMs, 3 RPM, something like that, 3, or three revolutions per minute. Anyway, I hope you, you, got, you liked it, you got something out of it, and uh, I hope to see you next time. Uh, feel free to subscribe if you, thought, if you think I've earned it, and uh, if not, you know, hey, maybe I'll catch you in the YouTube algorithm. Take care, fellas, and lady. I plan on doing uh, another tutorial, uh, hopefully one that's slightly better rehearsed of how I make uh, this here. Yeah.